up fasting fam or new fasting fam I guess I should say welcome to my channel my name is Rachel and I am an intermittent alternate day faster I have been doing it for about two and a half years now which is a really long time and since then intermittent fasting has grown so much I'm making this video for some tips and tricks on those who want to start intermittent alternate day fasting we're getting ready to go into 2020 a lot of people look for a plan that helps them lose weight at the beginning of the year I believe that you can start whenever you want but Let's just go ahead and say this is my so you'll want to start intermittent fasting video. Tips and tricks for beginners for the new year. Something like that. We'll come up with a more creative title, I'm sure. Maybe not. If you don't know me, my name is Rachel. I'm 26 years old and I have been doing intermittent alternate day fasting, like I said, for two and a half years now. With intermittent alternate day fasting, I have lost 108 pounds of fat. So my job here today is to tell you guys what has worked for me and how I lost the weight. If you're not new to my channel, odds are you guys have been asking me to make a video similar to this for a while now, so I figured why not do it with it being the beginning of the year coming up. A lot of people, like I said, are looking for a way to lose weight and I believe intermittent alternate day fasting might work for you. Just a disclaimer, this is what I have done. These are my own opinions and my own experiences. What works for me might not work for you. Feel free to modify it any way that you choose. So I guess with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. The first question you might be asking is what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is an eating pattern where you cycle between periods of eating and fasting. It doesn't say what you can eat, but when you should eat basically. There are several different methods of intermittent fasting. There's 16 hours of eating, eight hours of fasting, otherwise known as 16-8. There's OMAD, which is one meal a day. There's 24 hours. There's alternate day fasting, which is what I'm going to talk about today. There's four days of eating, three days of fasting, or four, three, kind of what I follow more now. There's five days of eating, two days of fasting. There's so many different methods. And like I said, I'm specifically going to talk about the one that started off my journey, which is intermittent alternate day fasting. What alternate day fasting meant for me was I would eat every other day. So for instance, I would eat from 8.30 in the morning to 8.30 at night. From 8.30 that night, I would skip the entire next day and then eat again at 8.30 the following morning. So for example, if I were to eat on Monday, I would skip all day Tuesday and then start again eating on Wednesday and I would cycle this every other day. And with this method, I lost 108 pounds of fat in one year in about two months. In eating every other day, it put me into a calorie deficit, which in turn helped me lose a whole lot of weight. So my first tip to you whenever you are wanting to start intermittent alternate day fasting is to calculate your BMR or basal metabolic rate and your TDEE or your total daily energy expenditure. These two numbers will be what you follow if you want to use a calorie counter on your journey. I did. I used the Lose It app, and whenever I first started intermittent fasting, I calculated what my TDEE was on mytdee.net. You put in your age, your height, your level of exercise, and you can also put in your body fat, but I did not know that at the time. In doing this, you were calculating what your total calorie count should be for the day. When I first started intermittent fasting, I was 236 pounds. So my calorie count was pretty high for the day if I wanted to maintain my weight. So what I decided to do was take my calorie count and put it between my BMR, which is basically your resting calories if you were to not do anything all day, and my TDEE. And because I worked a sedentary job, all I did was sit all day at work. So I averaged my calories and put it in between those two numbers, and that is the amount of calories that I ate on every eat day. And I would eat those calories every other day. Now when I first started IF, I actually allowed myself to eat up to 500 calories on my fasting day so I could kind of work myself into it. Typically at dinner time because I could get through breakfast and lunch fine, but it was whenever I was at home alone and didn't have anything to do and no distractions that I would feel myself getting hungry. So I would eat dinner and I would keep it at 500 calories and that would be my calories for the day. After the first week of intermittent fasting and I was able to move on to the second one, I was able to go at least 40 hours without food. In eating every other day, you are typically going about 36 to 40 hours without food, which is what puts you in that calorie deficit for the week and helps you lose weight. After that first week, when I moved on to doing zero calories on my fasting day, that is what I did for the next two years. I would alternate my days of eating with fasting. And as time went on and I started losing more weight, I would adjust my TDEE and my BMR and lower the calories in my calorie counter. The first month of intermittent fasting, I lost 
16 pounds of fat. And I can't tell you guys how relieved I was to finally find something that worked for me because I had been struggling losing weight for so long but that's for another video. The easiest way I found to get through my fasting days was to drink coffee in the morning and water throughout the day. I would chug the water, and that is my biggest tip to you, is whenever you start to feel hungry, fill yourself with fluids. Odds are you're not actually hungry, your body clock is just telling you that it's time to eat, but usually if you drink water within 10 to 15 minutes, that hunger goes away and you'll realize that you're actually fine. Now in terms of what kind of foods I would eat on my eat days, in the beginning, nothing really changed too dramatically. As time went on, I got more and more health conscious, replacing certain items in my fridge with lower calorie options. For instance, I replaced dairy milk with almond milk. I started checking calories on the back of things before I would buy them. Every time I would make a meal, I would write down all the calories and the ingredients before I would make the meal to see how I could split that up into servings and portions. That way I could fit it into my calorie counter for the day. It's a lot of work, but it does pay off in the end. In terms of carbs, fats, and proteins, I don't really count them, otherwise known as macros. All I do is count my calories. That doesn't mean that I'm not health conscious about them now, but in the beginning, counting carbs did not matter to me. It was the furthest thing from my mind. So yes, I was able to lose 108 pounds eating carbs. I know, mind blowing, right? So in other words, I did not combine intermittent fasting with the keto diet, like a lot of people have now. Going back to what I said earlier, in my first month of intermittent fasting, I lost 16 pounds. And with that being said, I allowed myself to weigh myself once a month. I know for a lot of people this is hard to do, but for my mental clarity, I knew that if I weighed myself every day and saw the scale fluctuate, it would throw me off and I would not have continued doing intermittent fasting. I believe if you weigh yourself once a month and not focus so much on the scale, then you will see more progress in the long run because you're not going to jump on it and see that you actually gained a couple pounds or whatever it might be. Weighing yourself once a month is more beneficial to me personally than it would be weighing myself once a week or every day. Within the first month, I lost 16 pounds. The next month, I lost nine. The one after that, I lost 12. And it fluctuated every month but I continuously lost weight every month with the method that I'm telling you guys about today. After six months of intermittent fasting, I finally decided to put exercise into my routine, which was the C25K running app. But for the first six months of intermittent fasting, I lost 62 pounds just by eating every other day, counting my calories, and having the motivation and determination that I did to get to a healthy place in my life. By the end of my first year of intermittent fasting, I was down 98 pounds of fat and the healthiest I had been ever at that point in my life. Now, a couple things that I want to point out to you guys that are very important about intermittent fasting. You need to make sure that you're actually eating up to your BMR on your fasting days. Eating less than that and then fasting the entire next day seems to keep a lot of people from actually losing weight. I highly suggest that you eat that average amount of calories that I told you guys about earlier between your BMR and your TDEE on your eat days. This is the method that's worked for me, so all I can really say is that I hope it works for you as well. I also want you guys to listen to your body. If you have drank water or you drank coffee and you're still hungry and you cannot get that nagging hunger pain to go away, go ahead and eat a meal. Remember, Remember, you can eat up to 500 calories on your fasting days and it won't technically break your fast. That is considered a modified fast. You'll be surprised how much you can eat within 500 calories and after that you should be able to continue on and it'll be fine. You'll still be in your calorie deficit and I promise it won't wreck your progress. This is something that I had to tell myself continuously because I was so hard on myself when I first started. There were days that I did have to eat 500 calories on fasting days and it ate me up inside. Not really, but you know what I mean. I'm one of the hardest people on myself, if that makes sense. And I can still be that way today if I break on a fasting day. But really, listen to the signs of your body because if you don't, in the long run, the possibility of you binge eating or overeating on your eat day are a lot higher than if you just went ahead and ate a protein bar or 500 calories or whatever it is that you might need for your body. The last and most important thing I want to tell you guys is if you want to consider doing intermittent fasting, intermittent alternate day fasting, you have to go into it with 1000% determination and 1000% motivation. This takes a lot of willpower to go for a certain amount of time without eating food. A lot of people give up and don't make it. I'm surprised that I continued on as long as I did, but after that first month when I saw my results, 
I kept going. I needed that change in my life though. I was at a point where I was miserable, I was depressed and I hated myself and I needed something to work for me. And that's why I stuck to and held on to intermittent fasting. Like I said, I've lost 108 pounds. On September 2nd of this year, we measured my body and I had 23% body fat. I stuck to it and I got these amazing results and I really believe that if you stick to it and you stay motivated and determined and hold on to that willpower, you can have amazing results too. This is not easy and it's not a quick fix. You have to find the method that works for you. And if intermittent alternate day fasting is it, I think you'll be truly surprised at the results you end up having after the first month, second, third, sixth year. I can personally say that it was highly worth all the blood, sweat, and tears. No blood, but you guys know what I mean. Keep in mind though that I am not a doctor. I am just your normal everyday average girl. I'm just sharing with you guys my experience to hopefully help you in your weight loss journey for the new year as well. Please make sure to talk to your doctor if you have any health concerns before you start this method. I'll be honest, I didn't, but I was in relatively good health besides being overweight whenever I started. Alrighty guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here though. Um, I know you'll probably have some questions. Reach out to me on my Instagram, send them to my direct messages and I'll try to get back to you guys. I try to make frequently asked questions videos and put them on my channel. If you guys send them to my Instagram, I will put those out in a video for you as well and hopefully help you in any way that I can for this new year to help you be the best you, you can be. Just already know that you're already amazing the way that you are and you don't need to change for anybody except yourself. If you wanna change for yourself, give this a go and see how it works for you. Thank you so much guys for stopping by and watching this video. I hope you like it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Like I said, send me questions to my Instagram and I should make a video for you guys shortly answering them and uh, I really appreciate it. Catch you guys on the next one.